Would you like to see the difference between a 25 cent DC motor and a $100 DC motor? Let's uh, take these apart a little bit more and see what makes up the differences. We'll start with the inexpensive motor and just kind of push it apart. So in this side are two magnets and it's just a steel case with these are not neodymium these are just ordinary we used to call them refrigerator magnets so nothing special about it the bearing on the other end is just a brass just a brass uh, bearing and you know nothing special about that um, here the shaft eh, you know just a whatever thrust bearing and then of course we have the uh, windings and the rotor and let's take this out of here now um, we have get that in focus we have the uh, contact points right there where the brushes touch commutator and yeah it's got uh, three lobes on it and on the back side we have well, actually, the, I don't think it really has much of a bearing in there. It looks like it's just all plastic. And for the uh, brushes, they're just brass, uh, little brass brushes. Uh, literally, literally just uh, bra this piece of brass right here that's been extended inside there and then slit into two pieces. You can see that. Okay, well that's it for the uh, cheap one. Um, you know, I, I should have mentioned, I guess, the back end of the case is plastic. So that's the uh, 25 cent DC motor. Now the first question is, where is the case? And the answer is, this was built into a high dollar uh, gas powered nail gun. So it uses an explosive gas and this, we did the cooling and other stuff. So it was a fan motor and drove a little air pump or something. Um, yeah, to clean the chamber out. So, um, yeah, on this end, that's hard to see, but there is actually a ball bearing in there, a ball bearing race. Uh, if we pull this out like this, what's interesting here is that's the magnet. And even though my tweezers are stainless steel, it's there. This is a very powerful magnet like that and nothing out of the ordinary about that just a very powerful cylindrical magnet shaft here what's interesting is that's literally just a wire basket i mean that has been very carefully woven so this is the rotor these are the windings and i mean the thing's beautiful uh, but it's literally kind of knitted together and for you know maximum power and all that and the clearance between this and the magnet is wow well, i don't know it's like almost zero uh, one of the reasons these went bad is people would bang the the nail gun and then this would get off balance and it would touch the magnet and go out of balance okay so on the other end is a another ball bearing right there and this is an epoxy uh, end of the end of the uh, rotor so that's very nice and you're saying what about the uh, contacts and that's an excellent question it uses two carbon brushes get this little there we go it uses two carbon brushes uh, real live springs so this is a uh, this is a proper set of brushes it's not some like little brass pieces that have been slit and yeah that's where the ball bearing sits is right in there so yeah this is uh this thing's really a, a work of art i mean it's it's beautiful it's very powerful and yeah very expensive okay well that was it just uh, kind of a little odd curiosity thing something i'd never seen before and thought you might be interested